One basic need of humanity is predictability. We need some certainty to be able to look in the future and begin to say, hey, here's what's going to happen. And the way that we develop that is we take our past experience, kind of call out that which doesn't matter, what we don't think is going to repeat, try to figure out what's going to happen again, and then say, okay, I'm going to base my life on that. And so we all have these life experiences from the past that are impacting our future. And that gives us a a sense of confidence that, that I'm confident that here's what's about to happen. Let me ask you this. What are you confident about today? What do you know for certain that, you know what, because of past experience, I can almost assure you here is what today holds or here's what tomorrow holds. We can make the jokes that we are confident that taxes are going to go up, right? That that government's going to frustrate us. We, we can be confident that Mark Clark is going to make fun of me in some way in his next sermon. There are some things that are predictable and we understand what's going to happen. But there's something in the Bible that sometimes we don't have confidence about that maybe we should. Psalm 27. It's that famous passage about the Lord is my light, my salvation, whom shall I fear? But at the very end of the chapter, as as David is now talking about some great struggle in his life, and what's interesting is he had so many struggles in his life, the commentators don't even know which one this was about. And yet he says this, I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. David's life experience in the midst of all the suffering and sorrow that he has been through has not created within him a a bitterness, a a frustration, or a fear in which he is saying, I am confident that tomorrow is going to hurt. Instead, what David says is, having walked with God now for so long in life, if I am sure of anything, this is one thing I am confident about, that I am going to see the goodness of God tomorrow. I'm going to see it. I I may not understand it. I I may not understand how God's going to make that reality come true, but I know that God is going to prove himself faithful. Are you confident of that? It feels like to me that so many in the church are, are confident that tomorrow is going to be bad. They're, they're, they're confident that sorrow is going to come. They're, they're confident that maybe they're going to be persecuted or, or things aren't going to go their way. And they're living out of this firm belief that things are bad. But David here, who had every right to believe that, instead has a different confidence. That God is good and he's going to show that goodness. And things about what happens, whenever you have that kind of confidence, this belief that, man, I don't know how God's going to do it, but he's going to show out here. Whenever you have that kind of confidence, then what happens is it gives you eyes of faith to begin to look and see where is God at work. And whenever you and I begin to see and look at where God is, we find him. We see him in small ways. We hear him in little whispers in ways that we can't even begin to imagine. We begin to see God. Whatever you are confident about today, I can almost assure you, you're going to experience that. So if you are confident that bad is coming, you'll probably see it. But if you are confident about the goodness of God and that he is going to reveal himself even to you today, you will see him. Be confident of this, that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living.